Hello adventurers, is that fun time of day again where we get to play Dungeons and Dragons Neverwinter this time with our warlock we're going to look for at least a dungeon and a skirmish right now I want to look at the appearance for the uh, healer uh, first let's look, let's change into the healer and then let's see if there's a queue. Yeah, there is a queue for a healer, so let's go into that, pop right away. And then go into uh inventory, get our VIP bags, then uh open those up. Refine some items. Actually turn them into refinement points. And then go into appearance. Cause I wanna try turn everything change colors or copy colors to other slots here and here and then I wanted to, whoa <laughs> took me right out of that to get into the dungeon dungeon time temple of lost mouth epic awesome always like ending with a dragon and this one we get the opportunity to do that let's see where that tank is. The tank is a fighter this time named Luna. Let's see if we can find a Luna. There, right here. Oh, I sped away. I wanted to mark them. Where are they? There they are. Mark them. Perfect. Now I can heal them. Or give them extra heals. Let's do it that way. Alright, things are going pretty quick there. And we're doing one coup at a time, it looks like. Or is this... I don't know why they went over here. Uh, it groups a little separate. Let's come over here. Let's heal up Luna there. Oh, got it. All right. A little discombobulated there, but uh, we did it. Let's grab uh, the gold. Get to our destination. Where our adventurers are waiting by the these are gates maybe, sort of, sort of gates. Dragon Arl, Dragon Soul Vessel is our next target. All right, let's see what we're gonna do here. Let's see. So not the tank going in there for some reason. Who's that one going in there? A rogue. A rogue is doing the tanking. There we go. The tank is doing the tanking now. Let's give it. Oh, let's pull back away from this. Oh, almost got hit there. They're doing pretty good tanking, from what I can see. Let's do a pillar of power right here. Call in Pegasus for the assist. Charge up our daily. Ooh. All right, going down. Check it and see. All right, to the healing campfire. And this rogue likes to go first for some reason. Pillar of power right here. Pull back. 14 seconds to charge our daily. Our tank doesn't go in first for some reason. They seem to hang out 
or take some time before going into the next sessions each time. Charge our daily. Thought I did that, but I guess I did it. All right. The adventuring group of a fighter, two warlocks and two rogues, continues. Hey, it's Rex Razor letting you know that you're right following here. Gamer Happy. All right, the tank did the tanking this time. Call in Pegasus for the assist. All right, that red golem is done. All right. Where's Luna? All right, let's grab the gold. Grab the gold. There's Luna doing an, a quick invocation by the campfire. Charge our daily, but it's already charged, so it doesn't matter. Waiting on Dr. Grimm, another warlock. Let's do this. We got scorpions. Twin fire scorpions, to be exact. It's like we're in Texas. We're in Texas. We're going to curse this scorpion. So I don't know what the best strategy is, but some people play it where the tank will aggro one and move that scorpion away from everybody while they do the one scorpion. And then, <clears throat> here we go, we have an adventure down. Um, but what I see here is there's an even amount of damage happening to the tank, I mean to both scorpions. So they're not just tanking one of the scorpions. Damage is happening on a pretty even weight to both of them. So I guess anybody, any strategy works as long as it works, right? All right, we got the scorpions. Now we're going to get ambushed. Good time to have Luna here. Let's give some health to Luna. We put everybody in a shield and at the same time gave him hit points. Best I can do before the ambushes. Sometimes when everybody's moving around it's hard to get. This is a one target uh, it's the equivalent of a 450 heal or something like that, but it's really a shield that goes around and gives some hit points. Only Dr. Grimm has it on them now, so I'm trying to get everybody else with it. And we're ready for Lost Mouth. Just like an epic dragon encounter. Well, this is an epic lost mouth. Ready for lost mouth. 
All right, let's do this. We got a fighter, two warlocks, and two rogues ready to encounter that dragon sitting there with one horn broken. What are we waiting for this time? Okay. We're all in there. The adventurers are eager to get on with this. Hey, there's a new... I don't know if you hear the game sounds right now, actually. I'm looking, and I don't see the game sounds coming through. I hear them. I don't know if you guys hear them. Yeah, I just was able to get the game sounds to come back on. For some reason, they were coming through, so sorry about that. It's going to be a silent stream until now, at least. All right. The adventurers are doing the run around. Make sure you don't get caught in the red circle game. And when that red circle comes out, move away so you don't get caught in it. Somebody just took it like a champ. I think the fighter tank. Or the fighter. Nope. Is that a fighter? It looks like a fighter. Oh, yeah, the Luna. The fighter. Fighter tank took it. They can take it on directly without a problem when they're what they call digged in. All right. We're still fighting. Lost Mouth. And Lost Mouth has about a quarter of a health left. And it's looking grim. Not that we have a grim in here. For Lost Mouth. The adventurers are almost done with this. Excellent. Let's thank the adventurers for their valiant efforts. Now that we have sound. And let's go pick up the first chest. 6,714 Ash Diamonds. We like that. And let's go to the lady who's always asking if we have Astro Diamonds. The Wondrous Bazaar. And pick up a skeleton key. Open the second chest. Oh, we got 3,052 from the second chest, which means we broke even and a little bit more. Brilliant diamond. Okay, that's good. Let's go ahead and change into uh, DPS attire so that we can uh, queue up for a skirmish. Protector's Enclave is a section of Neverwinter rebuilt by Lord Dogart Neverember in an effort to restore the city to its former glory. If you didn't know that, you heard it here first. Alright, so let's go ahead and change into DPS attire and queue up for a squimish. Alright, and it pops right away. Awesome! This heroic around the corner here, so let's go see what the heroic is like as we wait for the skirmish to let us in. All right, here we go. Are there adventurers already taking on? They're taking on a small group here on the side, and it's one adventure only. Let's help them out. Can't tell what kind of class they are right now. All in Pegasus for the assist here. Aha! We have some more adventurers joining the fray. And we're getting swept in to the skirmish. Ice Spire Peak is high in the Sword Mountains. Legend has it that a giant, an ice giant named Lakar opened a portal to the elemental chaos near its summit. Alright, we got 
the dreaded prophecy of madness and we are to enter the prophecy chamber because there is a demonic incursion happening ah we get to do a quick invocation all right let's see if this is a group that wants to play or wants to stand out here we have one that wants to stand out there i'm following the sword master here it seems to want to play they are a barbarian so we have three warlocks for the lack of one one uh barbarian and one ranger do a hawk attack there goes the hawk right in the face of that big what do you call them i think they call them mongas i forget exactly what they call them let's see there's going to be another one soon these are Thistars and Shadow Demons. There's another th sh Shadow, two Shadow Demons and a Thistar in this little group. Alright. They're opening another rift. Opening the little rifts. That is a Sithar over there. A Shrieking. What is that? Shrieking Cultist? Wait, what? Oh, we didn't get to read that, that ape's name. All right, let's see. What else are we opening here? This our Shadow Demon. There we go. They're called our Bargura. Bargura. Bar. No, Barlugula. Bar. <laughs> Barlugar. I don't know how to say that. But they're an ape of some sort. It reminds me of Ape Escape. All right. Adventurers are continuing to open rifts and defeat enemies from those rifts. What else do we have here? Another Barlura and a Thithar and a Shadow Demon. We got all kinds of things coming out of these rifts. Close the abysmal, the abysmal cares. That's what we're doing actually closing them for some reason a bunch of demons come out of it as we're trying to close them all right what do we got here another sitar shadow demon and one of those shrieking cultists along with one of those barluga things all right where are you going to open next? Oh, they're opening right over there. Let's go here. Let's do a curse this direction. There you go. That was pretty quick. Tith are down. All kind of fun here. I'm playing with Sonic the Hedgehog. Swordmaster, Gray, Zeal, Azale, something like that. Some more Shadow Demons, more Thizar. Looks like we had 29 seconds left on the phase timer before the next stage here in the Prophecy of Madness. Probably one of my least favorite. But still, a cooperative adventure with a fellow adventurer. There they are. Barl Gura. Barl, there's an L there in the middle. Hard to pronounce. Larger abyssal tears are opening. More powerful demons can emerge from them. All right. More powerful demons can emerge for them. Those more abyssal tears. Phase timer has turned on. Somebody opening this one? Yes. Another Balgura. Grabu, what's that called? I don't know, it was gone too quick. Look at this barbarian just run over here. I'm learning from the brand new barbarian that I've created. 
You have very fast running speed, and uh, I'm kind of enjoying it. I'm level 5 on my new Barbarian. Looking forward to being a level 20 to run some tank dungeons and skirmishes that require a tank. Call in a hawk. Hawk hit him on the head. Hey, it's Call like Pegasus to, to finish him off. That your follow makes this gamer happy. Woo! We are burning through this. I saw a bunch of knives. I'm going to assume that was the ranger. Not exactly sure what those were. Exactly. Alright, who's next? This purple tear. Charge up our daily. We give them all we got. Give them all that we have. Do, 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 do. Alright, we have 2 minutes 17 seconds remaining on this phase timer. Why didn't it tell us that we need to uh, reinforce the things? I thought that's what the second phase was all about. Interesting. Did they change it? Is it just one of the versions and I didn't realize it? Not sure right now. Not sure. We're going to do a good old curse that direction. Do 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 Alright. The adventure is continuing. I'm gonna do another hog and another Pegasus right here, right now. There you go. Very hard to resist the Pegasus power. Charge up the daily. Pick up the gold. Pick up the gold. We're opening this abyssal tear. So what's that hashtag that's going around? Spooky something? This is a good one for that. Spooky, you can get the madness to happen. That hashtag is going around, spooky what? Uh, oh, it's Hocus Pocus? So it's Hocus Pocus. Hashtag Hocus Pocus. Right here, right now. Hocus Pocus? Hocus Pocus. Am I saying it wrong? Why am I saying it wrong? Hocus Pocus. My accent? Come on. This is hashtag Pokey Pokey. Yeah, well, now I said it different on purpose. Oh, so we didn't have to reinforce the... Uh... Alright, that's fine. Let's do a quick curse in that direction. I'll tell you what's Hokey Pokey. Some of these lurkers that I see in the, uh, in the chat. All kinds of funny names. Funny names. Make my life. Make me cry. Some funny names. Hokey pokey. Hashtag hokey pokey. Final price. Silver. Had it. Oh, I can't find it. Oh, the. That key? I don't know where it is. No idea. I have no idea. Alright, so let's go. Let's see what we can do here. We need a key, so let's go to the... Oh, let's say thank you, you know what I mean? Because, hey, we did it, you know? We all contributed do to the success that? of this skirmish. Let's grab one of these keys here. We have to break even, so let's make sure we get 1,000 
800. Oh, we got the wrong key. Let's do this again. Sure. We got the wrong key. We got the wrong key. Now we got the right key. Now we got to make uh, 16, so 3,600 at least to break even. Oh, that's no good. Let's try it again. 3,600, we broke even. And the other key will get us into a different chest, so that's fine. All right. So let's go ahead and see what our tally is for today. Inventory, please. Woo! That's above average. 80,878 Astral Diamonds. That calls for a celebration from the Warlock. In this case, we're going to celebrate by moving on over to the Cleric. So I'm going to shut down the stream momentarily, have a quick snack, come back as the Cleric and do another dungeon and another skirmish. Hope you all are doing good. I look forward to seeing you soon.